afternoon. Um, so back in August 2019, we have decided to develop the Cape Open interface of MotoFlash using Cobia. Um, this development has benefited from support of Colan through its uh, consultancy services scheme and the excellent help and advice of Yasper all the way through the project. So today I'd like to talk about why we made this decision, how we did the implementation, and what is our assessment uh, of the computational performance of Cobia so far. Next slide, please. Uh, so in this presentation, I will briefly talk about MultiFlash and its new features in the latest release. And then I'll outline the role of Cobia as a middleware, and this will lead to the comparison of between the new middleware Cobia and the one that we were using before COM, and the reason why we have decided to switch from COM to Cobia. From there on, I'll show on a couple of the slides and how we did the implementation and what we learned out of this process. And finally, I'll conclude with showing the results of our performance benchmark, benchmarking runs for the newly developed Cobia and its comparison with COM and um, native MultiFlash. Next slide, please. Um, for those of you that don't know MultiFlash, MultiFlash is a powerful and comprehensive PVT and the physical properties package that enables modeling the phase behavior of uh, complex mixtures in a flexible manner. A large number of simulators and software packages that require thermophysical and transport properties benefit from the integration with MultiFlash. This is where KPopen comes into play and that uh, makes it possible to use MultiFlash package in a plug and play manner. Um, MultiFlash has been a KPopen process modeling component from the early days of KPopen. So the latest release of MultiFlash is MultiFlash 7.2, which will be released by the end of this year. There have been many new features on the MultiFlash DLL side, the extension of the threat safe models. So basically now all the calculations, almost all the calculations and the models in MultiFlash are threat safe. We have been working on MultiFlash Web API and the Mercury model in um, MultiFlash has been reviewed and improved. And uh, we have got now better compatibility of models with other simulators. The Python interface of MultiFlash has been extended, and also we had many other developments mostly concerning the graphical user interface. On the Cape Open interface side, we have been uh, we have developed a Cobia-based interface, and we have got the Thermo 1 support by COM interface. Next slide, please. Okay, so before I talk about um, Cobia, let's, well, I just wanted to talk a little bit about middleware. I um, see that Jasper had some um, as a slide about middlewares in the previous presentation, so I don't uh, talk about that much about it. So basically, as Jasper said, middleware is like a glue to make everything work. So having just um, because KPopen is just a definition of set of stand interfaces and with functions and function arguments that um, PME must supply to a PMC and vice versa. So implementation is not part of a standard. The missing the missing piece here is a middleware, which basically works as a glue to make everything work. Uh, it defines the format of the data types, uh, it implements component registration or instantiation, also it takes care of the interoperability and calling convention and marshalling. So um, in in the past we had uh, the Cape Open had adopted two middlewares, COM and CORBA, uh, which COM pretty much has been the standard uh, until a couple of years ago that the new um, middleware of Cobia has been introduced, uh, which Cobia stands for Cape Open Binary Intro Interaction, uh, in, sorry, architecture. So, next slide, please. Um, so, let's see how Cobia compares to COM and why at, we at KBC decided to switch from COM to Cobia. So, the first very important feature that we considered for choosing Cobia was that, that COM is bound into Windows operating system. It's not available on other operating system, whereas Cobia is multi-platform and is independent of any commercial product. Um, also, it's not an immediate issue for us, but most likely it will be in the near future. Um, another advantage of Cobia over COM is uh, over data handling. In COM, one has to know which data is owned and which, which are references to data owned by some external components. And if you do this wrong, you're just either leaking memory or you will be probably crashing the application. 
Uh, and then there are a number of issues resulting from weak typing, including the possibility of passing the wrong data type or getting the wrong data type passed to you, uh, and the poor performance because you must make repeatedly such uh, checks. Whereas in Cobia, data types are passed as interface and data is a stronger type, which makes the behavior of operation more predictable and efficient compared to COM. Uh, another main difference is the error handling. Error handling is much easier in Cobia. In COM, error interfaces are too complex and systems error also return, which makes it hard to translate to the text, textual error message. Whereas the Cobia error handling is built into Waze Cape Open interface and Cobia provides error text for all errors. And for C++ language bindings, it has uh, exception compatible error handling. Um, another important consideration for us was switching to the uh, for before switching to a new middleware, uh, Cobia was uh, we wanted to make sure that we have full support for legacy com based Cape Open interface. And the good news was that the Cobia is fully compatible with com PMCs are usable from Cobia PMEs and Cobia PMCs are usable from com PMEs. And efficiency is close to com com, com intro, which I will show in uh, later in the presentation. And finally, we wanted to have better support for our future development of the cable pen, which we hope that we will get by Cobia implementation. Next slide, please. Okay, so to implement the Cobia interface, we used um, the Cobia SDK software development kit, which is a set of components and tools to create and test software that utilizes Cobia. Um, basically, the Cobia SDK, SDK includes tools to compile the source code of interfaces developed using the Cobia interface ideal. It can also be used uh, to register Cobia component and test developed software. It includes examples, code generators, portions of the Cobia source code, etc. Um, there were two ways of implementing the Cobia interface, um, either to the Cobia command line code generator or through the, if you use Visual Studio, you could use Amsterdam Cobia class wizard add-in for Visual Studio, which was the approach that we used to implement the Cobia interfaces. Next slide, please. So, um, as Jasper showed in his presentation, uh, the Amsterdam Cobia wizard uh, is basically an add-in for Visual Studio, which delivers classes and the definition for all the functions in the classes. Um, the contents of the functions are not generated, so it, uh, the code generator does not give you a ready-to-run PMCs, but it provides you a skeleton with interfaces and methods, which helps a lot to reach the goal of having a fully functional uh, capable pen PMC. Um, we, there's also um, an example document for creation of the unit operation that we use um, for um, multi-flash Cape Open Cobia, inter Cobia interface. Next slide, please. Um, again, this is just a screenshot of um, the wizard at Jasper shown in his previous uh, presentation. So this is just to show you how to add the interface if you choose a class. Um, so just shows you how easy it would be to create um, the skeleton and the framework for your PMC. Next slide, please. Um, so the C++ language binding makes that the Cobia based Cape Open object look like this, a regular C++ class, which is derived from Cobia based object. Uh, so each Cape Open interface is implemented by driving from a Cape Open adopter class, which like here, Cape um, Identification Adopter, which is shown in bold here. So the adopter implements the raw Cape Open interface. So the adopter will subsequently depend on the functions being implemented in your class. If you go to the next slide, please. Um, so if, as shown here for um, I Cape Identification, these functions are called by the adopter base class. Um, so one aspect of Cobia programming which makes it easier for programmers is generating these stop codes um, which generate all the methods that require implementation with the proper arguments. 
Um, the other thing to notice here is that the arguments are strongly typed, and in this case, for example, are they are cape string for both input and output, so they are not like common specific types of um, variables like BSDR or variant. Um, so, furthermore, these are the C++ classes that wrap interfaces, so we do not need to complicate things by allocating data or deallocating data. Next slide, please. Error handling, as I mentioned, is much easier in Cobia than COM uh, because you, here you see if you your package name is empty, for example, it simply throws an ex exception, which is defined in the Cobia header. Then the CAPE identification adopter that we saw on the previous slide catches the C++ specific exception and translates it into a valid CAPE open error. So everything in C++ binding of Cobia is a smart pointer to an interface. So all of that is defined or included via the Cobia header. Um, next slide, please. Um, so for base property package for multi-flash, multi-flash base property package, uh, we had a legacy com base code. So I've uh, used um, parts of the code that was not specific to com and I got rid of um, those um, those parts of the code which was uh, comma specific like allocating or deallocating the variables or conversion of the data types that was um, comma specific to the Cobia, Cobia unified data types. And I took care of the threat saving of the code using the lock and unlocking. Next slide, please. So some remarks on the implementation. So clearly, Cape Open programming uh, using uh, Cobia implementation is much easier than COM, especially if you use these um, results that will create the Cape Open object framework for you. Um, the error handling is much easier. Any method, as I mentioned, can simply throw a Cape Open specific exception, which the C++ wrapper code will catch this exception and translate it into a Cape Open error. Um, but it also become less error prone because no need for explicit, uh, explicit allocations or deallocations. All that responsibility now has been taken to the C++ wrapper class. Also, as all data is a strong type, you no longer have to type check your data. and It is not possible to make any wrong assumption here. Um, I've also, used, for those of you who have got like, uh, if you have a legacy com based Cape Open interface, you can use parts of the code which is not which can be uh, well, not comma specific and can be used in Cobia. Uh, some of the challenges, um, well, as I mentioned, uh, we, the decision on which interface you have to implement is up to you. It's not, it's not something that, um, so you have to know which interface you have to select for each class. And the conversion of the com base specific like variables and, and to, to Cobia was a bit challenged because I wasn't, uh, aware of COM before this project, um, so um, I had to learn about those specific types of type data types of COM. Uh, the other thing which I thought was lacking was was the problem was a um, lack of documentation examples. There was just one example for the unit operation I think which was given in the uh, training course on Cobia. Um, Multi-threading and tests and checking the interoperability. I think that's something uh, in the future phase of the Cobia. So uh, these are the remarks on the implementation. Next slide, please. So uh, the, the next few slides on the presentation is for the performance benchmarking that we did for Cobia. So we considered five different scenarios for these benchmarking test runs. Um, so the first one is the Cobia PME and Cobia PMC, and then COM PME, COM PMC. And then uh, we, we thought maybe it would be good to test if the PME and PMC are not the same. So if we have COM PME, Cobia PMC, or like uh, Cobia, Cobia PME and COM PMC, and also compare it with the native motor. How do they compare with the native motor flash? Next slide, please. Uh, so the test runs that we, for test runs, we use the Cobia and COM command line test PMEs and uh, we use Multiflash as Cobia and COM PMCs. 
we use the latest uh, release, uh, latest um, version of Moto Flash 7.2 and the Peng Robinson model. Uh, we had the runs with different number of TP flash calculations, and also we did some calculations for single phase property calculations, gas density at the same temperature and pressure conditions tested for the TP flash runs. Also to check the effect of number of components, we considered two different mixtures. One was just two component binary mixture of C4, C5, and the other one was the crude oil fluid with 14 components. Uh, as I mentioned, we also compared the result with the native motor flash for uh, TP flash calculations. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, this two the comparison between um, A and B, basically between uh, Cobio PMC, Cobio PME, and Com PMC, Com PME. So as you see for both cases, uh, these are for the binary mixture. As you see for both TP flash calculation and gas sensitivity calculations, um, Cobio performance is better than COM, um, which we were expecting, of course. Um, for gas density calculations, it seems that the Cobia is between 1.4 to 2 times faster and TP, calculate, TP flash calculations between 1.4 and 1.7. Um, and we would expect the ratio of the times to be more or less constant, independent of the number of calculations. But I think this variation, we believe that these variation ratios are caused by the uh, process, other processes running on the computer. So uh, basically we, we think that the longer the calculations takes for, for the larger number of the TP flash calculations, for example, we have, um, we minimize uh, the noise from other, other processes running on the computer and, and we can see the difference in more, um, between COM and COBIA, which is about like 1.4 times faster. So it, in both cases of TP flash calculations and gas density calculations, we believe that it's about 1.4 times faster. Uh, COBIA is 1.4 times faster than COM. Next slide, please. Um, in this slide, we compared the results with multi native multi-flash uh, for two different mixtures. We wanted to check the effect of number of components. So the graph on the left-hand side shows for the binary mixtures and the right-hand side is for the crude oil mixtures with 14 components. The results are very interesting um, in the sense that the Cobia is performance is very close to the native motor flash, especially for uh, for the mixture with a larger number of components. It's pretty much the same as native motor flash. Um, and also for the binary mixture is slightly overhead uh, over the over the motor over the native motor flash, which was very promising because um, it shows that the cobia in terms of the performance is the the overhead is um, it is it's just a slight overhead over the native motor flash. Next slide, please. Um, and then to check um, the, the different uh, com so for, for checking the effect of the cobia. So for basically if you don't know what Combia is, Combia is translating the com Combia calls. Um, so the com Combia entropy is provided for the Windows platform. So the, the library that manages the com Combia, com entropy and translate uh, com and Combia calls is called Combia, which is installed automatically with the Combia. Um, so basically Combia is to use Combia PMCs directly from the com PMEs and vice versa and COM PMC is automatically visible to COBIO PMEs and COBIO PMC registration also registered a COM object on Windows. So the next few runs are for uh, to check the effect of COMBIO. If you go to next slide, please. So again, we have done the calculations for a binary mixtures for both gas density calculations and uh, TP flash calculations. Um, so the results show that uh, basically the effect of the combia is negligible compared to the com. So bottleneck is com because it seems that 
um, the COM PME, COBIA PMC, and vice versa, the COBIA PME and COM PMC, they are very close to COM COM, um, COM PME, COM PMC, which shows that um, which shows that the bottleneck and the speed and performance is basically calm and combia overhead is not that much. Um, next slide, please. Okay, to, to summarize, um, so we have for Cobia PME, Cobia PMC versus Com PME and Com PMC shows that the Cobia uh, is about 1.4 times faster than um, Com. Also, check the effect of the Cobia. There is a little difference between um, B, C, and D on these combinations. Basically, the, it shows that the Cobia has a slight effect on the speed, but the bottleneck is calm. Um, also, uh, it shows that um, D, which is the COBIA PME, COMBIA, uh, COM PMC is a bit slower than C, which is the COM PME and COBIA PMC. And obviously, the option A, which is the COBIA PME and COBIA PMC is the fastest among all the other options. And as of effect of the number of components, um, it seems that the larger size of the problem, the less pronounced will be the effect of the COBIA or COM. And for TP flash calculation runs of the crude oil mixtures, we saw that the native motor flash is just a bit faster than COBIA PME, COBIA PMC. So is COBIA is doing very well on that one. And um, for TP flash calculation runs of the crude oil mixtures, it, and the COM PME and uh, COM PMC is 1.3 times lower than native motor flash. So um, this was promising results that shows that the COBIA implementation, as we uh, expected, um, gives very good performance in terms of speed and can be compared with the native motor flash. Uh, next slide, please. I think that would be my last slide. 